back in the end. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys today? I only have five minutes, almost ten minutes to tell you what about drywall taking. Does anybody know what drywall taking is? Okay, so I'm going to have to explain it to you so you can get an idea mm -hmm. about it. Um, somebody can turn this on for me and you can see a little bit what I'm doing. This program is for our young, unrepresented adults that don't have any background. In any so what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you a little bit what drywall taping is. Drywall taping, finishing, is a $45 an hour job. In this organization, as far as uh, construction and drywall taping, I've been in drywall taping ever since I was a kid, 11 years old, my dad taught me. So I took that from there, I was at IBM, I worked at IBM, left IBM, because I'm an inventor as well, and went into drywall taping, which paid three times as much as IBM did at that time. I went into, um, so, I went into the trade at the uh, age of about 22 years old, in 1979, due to the fact that I already had skills, I went straight into as a journeyman taper. I have all my paperwork, as well to show you that I was in the union, at, uh, uh, Panthers Union Local 507, and to show you the date that I started as a, a journeyman taper in 1979. So I have far more skills than mostly anybody that's around. I'm gonna give you a little bit about the, how drywall taping is, so you can be able to see it. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is show you our young adult that I have that's up under me that wants to be trained. So we're gonna start at the at the end of it because I only have 10 minutes, so you can hear his testimony. And then we're going to go back to the front so I can give you a little idea what drywall taping is. Can you, can you put it on right now? And then it. There you go. Okay, once again, I just showed you the fundamentals in drywall taping finishing. There's far more than what you see and with your eyes. You're not even, even touch the surface. But I just gave you a little example of it. And what we're doing today is, and what I'm showing you is to try to teach our young youth and our young adults, like the man here next to me, are learning a skill in the drywall taking so he can take it to another level in life. I'm Gary Cyrus, I'm the CEO of a New Age Drywall Taping Today program. And this is my, my first student that I'm getting ready to train. Oh, my phone number, is, I forgot about my phone number. My phone number is 408-561-255. If you like to learn, not the fundamentals, but the whole thing from drywall taping, my number is 408-561-2555. Again, my phone number is 408-561-2555. And if you're interested in learning a trade, and you don't have a trade, this is a good trade to get in. Don't you think? Yes, sir, it is. Um, this provides great opportunity. Um, and you can pretty much go to college and still do it. Um, if you want to pursue something, and then when you're done and get out, this will be here waiting for you. It's a great career, great opportunity, and it's a, it's a lot it's a lot of focus, and it's a lot of drive that you can also come out of this because this gives great skills for you and whatever you want to do. If you have a family or you want to travel, you can do it all. Um, and you can go uh, nationwide. It does not require you to stay within your area. You can go wherever you want. and. Um, and if you really want to really want to do this really big, you can make it big. It's totally up to you. But I'd say this is a great opportunity for you and for whoever you would bring. Tell them that this is, you know, a great a great skill to have because if they're not doing anything or something's going on in their life, this is this right here is an opportunity. You know, we all have a choice in life. We all have a choice. No one can say they don't. Um, so I recommend this. I really do. Thank you. Pass these out so you can guys can see how you actually start uh, before the sheetrock is on, the, on. This is what the, the, your house will look like. And right, right, right there, right there. Right there? Yeah. And go pass these around. Okay. So that's a house. With that, because I was, when I went there, they asked me what I told them. Further back. I told them I could spot them in. Further back. Right there. Uh, run the boxes. And the boxes, which you put on the wall, I can't explain it to you because you won't see it. But I had to run the boxes and do spray texturing, everything that a journeyman can do. So that's how I became a, a, a journeyman drywall taper. So now what I'm getting ready to do is go into my field of what drywall taping is and what you have to do in order to do it. The first thing a taper has to do when he comes inside of the building, after the sheet rocker hangs the sheet rock, is to prep the building. And what I mean by prepping the building, you have to go along and find a big gap in the wall. And the reason 
why you have to prep this first, because you just put the case oil in there, and after you put the top coat on there, it's going to rust out and have a blister, and you're going to be able to see it through your sheet rock. You know, you can see the blister. So I'm going to show, now I'm going to show you what prepping is. So this is what you call prepping. Now, I don't have to go all the way up here because there's, there's a small seam, so I can stop here. And then I gotta wipe it in. Okay. Now, that's what you call prepping. So now I'm getting ready to show you when you take it. When you get ready to put the tape on the wall. You gotta make sure that there's no empty spots in your, in your mud. Because if you have any empty spots in your mud, it's gonna call a blister at the end of the day when it dries. Always do your butts first. The reason why you do your butts first is because there's no finishing uh, sheet rock. Without finishing sheet rock, you'll have a bow in it. So you do your butts first. So you put the mud on, you got the mud on, you put the tape on, wipe the tape in, bring it a little bit past that seam there, and you cut. And then if you cut, you want to wipe each side, one side at a time. You're going to hit it here, and you're going to hit it here. Should take one wipe if you finish it. Go over to your neck, cut it, and you do the same thing. Okay, I'll go a little bit forward. Okay, right there, stop right there. Okay, now let's start again. Now that's showing you how you put the flats on, on your, on your uh, butts. Which now if I was this is the had time, this butt I wouldn't be doing because it's really not really dry. But I can get away with it because I'm telling you the story what you need to do. Put the tape out, lay your tape, wipe it, bring it down. To the end, those are buttons. Same thing you did at the top, you wipe one side first. Okay, go forward, you finish. Make sure. Okay, go forward. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, now this is the flat. We put it in your gallows. Stay like You gotta make sure it's filled. You get on, you got the mud on there. If you have a high rise like that, that's not filled. You can come back and just pat it like this. Make sure that you got mud everywhere. Put the pan down, put your tape, put the tape on the wall, put your tape. What about tearing it? Go back. Don't worry about that on the floor, we're here to be in the house. You always want to have your coat on the floor like this thing right here. Make sure you wipe it in good. When you hear a singer like that, you know you're doing what you're doing. When you're doing your nails, very size, so you can see the whole video. So I know I don't have that much time, but I have to show you guys everything. So this is what the program consists of, and I'm going to be able to teach our young adults that's coming up. In my skills that I have, I've been in this trade since 1979 as a professional. I came upon one Afro-American in the whole time I've been doing it, mm. and the Spanish people which they, you know, it's not against them, but they're not going to teach us. You know, when I came in at 11 years old, my dad taught me this trade. So we, as we know now, our young adults don't have, this, they're leaving their homes there to impregnate our uh, young women, you know, and they're going on to the next. So there's nobody teaching them anything. The Spanish people is not going to teach you. 
you know, when I sometimes I go on the job and be asked about the, the foreman, first thing they do is they mean to speak no English, you know, so they don't want you in there in this field. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a big uh, open uh, uh, thing for us to get in there and be able to pass this on to our other folks that we have going here. So that's what I, my whole idea is about. And I thank you guys for having me here. And like I say, you can go on to the uh, website and see the whole video. And I'm, I'm past these pictures up. You know, so I, I did pass those out. Yeah. Yeah, but these are the tools. Now this is just handwork. And my 90 day, my program is gonna start a 90 day program. It's a pre-apprenticeship to actually get them with 90 days of training from me so they can be able to go into the union because it takes 3,000 hours to get into the union. Mm -hmm. I don't have 3,000 hours I can be able to, uh, to train anybody. So I can go to the pre-apprenticeship, that's what I want to do, so I can get our youth to get 90 days behind them so they can be able to do basic uh, taping, you know, so they can follow the journeyman behind them. Now journeyman has to have an apprentice behind him because it saves the company thousands of dollars. So like what I was doing there, this is handwork. The, now for production work, these are the production tools that you use in uh, drywall taking. I'm not, I don't have it here, you know what I'm saying, because they'll never reach that spot, but they'll be able to with the training they got. They just can't go off the street and say, hey, I want an apprentice job. You know, they don't even know how to hold a pen at night. There's a lot into it. Like I said, last time in 19, uh, 2007, I was doing $45 an hour with this trade here. And a lot of people don't mention it. Our people don't know anything about it, just like I said, when I came and asked anybody to know what drywall taking is, nobody really raised their hands. Right. So this is a look at the job. I never got hurt. I'm 65 years old, and it's time for me to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. You know, I got about eight years of that I can train, but I actually want to get somebody behind me so they can be a professional enough to pass this on. They're never going to get that. I think I'm the last dinosaur as you know, mm -hmm. far as being able to say, hey, I want to do this for our people. You know, other people can come, but, you know, just like I said, other people from other races are not going to train you. So thank you guys for being, being here.